welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to my live session tonight. Happy Labor Day. How are you guys doing tonight? Um, I'm going to make this video short. So, um, should you um, eventually go back and watch so you can um, benefit from what I'm going to discuss tonight. So, um, it's not going to be a very long video. But I'll take questions at the end of the day. But um, this is from my phone. I do not know why I can't always connect to um, do live on my computer. That would have been my best. Welcome, Chanel. Welcome, Miss Spain. How are you all tonight? So what I intend to do tonight is to share with you essential list. The list that I know will be helpful to you. Things that you do need to get. You can um you don't have choice if you do want to um operate a lab, a full running lab. You do need all of these items that I'm gonna be sharing. These are the major ones. Of course, you can get whatever things that you did, but these ones that I'm gonna share with you, you do need to um try to get them. And I got most of these things from um Amazon and Walmart, and the last one from Michaels. Um, Michaels have coupons. You guys can use their coupons so that you can get discounts. Um, speaking of Michaels, so I'm just gonna go. Um, there is this tray. It's a cart. I'm gonna whatever I'm sharing with you, I can um, post the link later on so you guys can just um, navigate to the, uh, with that link to um, get you guys to where I'm, what I'm talking about. It's a tray cart. It has um, about. 12 drawers in them you need those and it has it has a tray on it as well you need that cart is a cart um michael's is the only store that i think has um carries those kind of um trays of course you do need gloves gloves um mask the reason why i'm sharing this is because a lot of people i've seen that most people actually have questions what are the supplies next like you know so i'm sharing with you guys um gloves mask you do need mask of course ppe gowns um the disposable ones you can get that from walmart or amazon disposable gowns you do need alcohol prep pads face shield when you're doing covid whatever collection you're doing if you're dealing with people's um specimen you do need a face shield you do need a trash can of course trash can there is this dollar store there is this um little caddy it's a it has handle you can get those from um dollar store um should you be doing drug testing you can just put all of your supplies that you need at one time in that little one dollar basket it's in the dollar store um of course pen highlighter you do need a wiper printer i recommend a wi-fi printer because if you're using a small space you may not have enough room to you know for cord and what have you so just try to get a wi-fi um printer i use brother it's um highly rated on well on walmart a wi-fi printer i recommend that um of course the tablet that you're gonna use make sure it um it is touch screen you need a touch screen tablet or a touch screen computer um i'm gonna recommend when i'm gonna drop the link in the um in the group i got mine from buy um best buy but um i think um amazon and this other store has it as well you can get it from amazon but of course why i recommend a touch screen is because if you're doing electronic 60f forms if you're doing electronic drug testing your client and yourself as a collector do need to sign so um you know so i recommend a touch screen computer um of course lysol you do need to get Lysol, Lysol wipe, Lysol spray, um, paper towels. You need paper towels. Um, just keep this list. You may think, oh, you can't think of everything. But when you have a list to go by, it will be easier for you when you're doing your shopping. Um, I think I already did mention the movable tray. That tray, if it's just that tray that you have in your um, lab, I think you're good to go. That tray has everything. It has it has um is it tray yeah it has a tray on it what am i talking about yeah tray it has a tray on it and it has like um drawers you know so i'm a, i'm a, i'm going to post the link as well um in the group um baby wipes you need bluing tablet bluing tablet if you're doing DOT drug testing 
you do need to blow your toilet bowl. There is one from Alera. It's not the record. It's not the ones that you use at home. This is for conducting drug testing. You do need to buy that. I can share the link as well. It's called blowing tablet. You do need that. Of course, you need scrubs. If you want to buy scrubs, I recommend scrub. And of course, the lab coat. Get yourself a lab coat. Um, customize it to your needs. Um, put your name, put your logo, put your um, company name on the, um, the lab coat. You do need to have to always wear a lab coat. If you're dealing with specimen, such as urine, COVID test, whatever things you're doing in your lab, you do need to have a lab coat. And I say, I say customize because, of course, you want to look professional. So... Um, Amazon, there is this vendor on Amazon that customizes for you. It takes about two weeks, so you can place your order should you, um, because it's going to take two weeks, except if you want to buy the um, expensive one. Um, you need scissors. If you're doing air collection, you do need scissors um, for air collection. And there is, it's not just, um, it's a medical kind of scissors, the one that they use for operation in the hospital. So you need a scissors. Um, it's on Amazon as well. Um, instrument tray. You need an instrument tray. It's a movable instrument tray. That tray you can move. You can use it for everything that you're doing. It's you can also use it as your station for collection because it's an aluminum tray that you can just spray down and wipe. It's also on Amazon. Just search for Google. Um, search for um, instrument tray. It's going to be there. You need a lockbox. If you're doing drug test, you do need a lockbox because once your patient comes in, one of the recommendations is for them to put all of their um, belongings in a lockbox. So you need a lockbox. You can get um, the ones that, with combination on Amazon, on Uline. Buy all of those things with your business credit card. That way you're building credits. Get a credit card from Amazon. Use it. Uline has net 30. All right? Um, medical stainless tray. You also need a medical stainless tray. Those little trays, but they are medical kind. You need those trays. Um, gauze sponges. You need gauze. Um, disposable gown. I think I already have that on the first one. Dispos disposable gown. You can get that from Walmart. You do need to wear gowns every time and each time you're doing COVID test. So get yourself a disposable gown bio outside bags you need a bio outside bags for your everything urine when you do urine collection you have to dispose um the cups in a bio outside bag and make sure you partner with a local bio outside company to pick up your bio assets those cups are considered bio assets all right um bio asset containers you need those little containers sharp containers so get those as well area rug you need it like an area rug in your office space i don't know if you guys are mobile but this list also is for those that are mobile and as well as um those that have brick and mortar area rug because your listing office will require that because if you are um if you're listing you do want to protect um your space all right because you know for urine specimen any kind of specimen because you may have spill so you do need the area rugs to protect your area so you don't have to pay when you leave that um space um i did put stapler copy paper laminator laminator paper all of those good stuff office supplies you need those a mini refrigerator you need a mini refrigerator if you're collecting specimen should you be collecting after hours you can refrigerate those specimen why um for the next day all right and you also need a bio as that um sticker so you can put it on everything that has bio as it in it such as your freezer your fridge refrigerator you have to put you have to put a sticker on it so you do need that and you need an office chair i think you should know that by now an office chair and of course, um, specifically a reception office table. You don't, you don't. Um, I prefer the reception office table compared to regular office table. The reception style is the one that is long. You know, just to look professional. You need that. Um, sliding letter tray. You need that as well. Sharp containers. I think I did mention that. Sterilized drawers. 
you need those to keep your cups in them and i also did mention pos system or a card reader if you're going to be doing um electronic if you're going to be taking um card payments you need to set up a pos system i recommend godaddy because with from what i've researched they are the ones that have the most cheapest rate out there merchant rates so i recommend godaddy that's the one that i use and um ccf forms cups instant cups your lab that you partner with the lab will send you the ccf forms all of those supplies will come from your lab those supplies will come from your lab um Oh, that's the scheduling. That's for me. That's my little note on the side. I think these are the major things that you need. For some reason, I've seen these questions come all over around, like, what supplies do I need? I feel like this is a starter supply kit list that you do need. Start getting all of this with your Net30 account so you can um, build credit as well. From what I've gathered, the most important list, even though you can think on top of your head, the most important thing least that i think is valuable is the bluing tablet you do need the bluing tablet if you're doing drug testing and of course you need the instrument tray the medical instrument tray lab corp contact yes i have one they are very unresponsive they don't respond to things in life these people that's why it's just good to have someone that is working with somebody. Like I have sales rep in all of these um, labs because, you know, I've dealt with them. So I kept their contact and because I know I'm going to be doing this in the future. So, yes, I can share with you if you are, if you ever, ever have purchased anything from me, I can share with you. Yes. Um, lockbox. You need a lockbox if you're doing DOT collection as well. You do need to have that. Um, I recommend an area rug because um, you're dealing with specimen. You want to protect um, your office. You don't want it. You don't. Should you spill anything? You know. You do need an area rug, and that aluminum tray is very good. You can. It's movable. You can move it around. Um, and I did say Wi-Fi printer for a reason because um you can print anything from your wi-fi and um um touch pad um touch screen computer because you need to sign if you're with fun fox they are everything fun fox does is electronically so they would sign from that okay so yeah shana i'm gonna share with you so you can reach out to them yeah any you know if you've paid for anything even if it's a dollar i mean that you know that shows a lot to me because some people are just here to get from you and they don't want to do anything they're just suckers so um what else do i want to reemphasize um bio as that um stickers sharp containers you do need that um as well and i think that's about it my next video is going to be for those that wants to um, enroll in my mentorship program for clear and of course for drug testing i do have a comprehensive list of things that i'll be covering in those um mentorship because i've realized a lot of people are just in the dark like they do not necessarily know what to do where to go like you know they go to different um, mentors and you know purchase one course this that but still you know after all of the certification what do you do with them how do you go about setting up your lab and seeing your lab running so if you need me to hold your hands and help you navigate the system without also because it's what i've done through it's i've been through all of this and if you need me to show you and hold your hands like for example chanel is saying that she's been trying to reach out to lab corp and it is always true it's always difficult to reach to these people because there's a lot of vendor you can imagine these are like you know big nationwide um clearing houses accounts you know lab corp is backed up right now you know even the doctors cannot wait to and their list or contract with them so like i have said i've been through and i've developed relationship with the sales rep i can mentor you i can show you how to do everything from start to finish so 
my next video will cover everything that you'll be getting from my uh, mentorship program if you do need me to mentor and coach you because of course you need somebody to help you navigate it's 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 a system that is kind of like hard you need to know how the system works and i'm gonna be able to show you if you're if you're interested so i will cover the details in my next video not today of course i'm gonna make an announcement when the time comes yeah so she know i understand the business and i want to learn i want this to be my only job yeah you can make it your only job it is doable there is money in this business but how to make the money is what we all need answers to because from the saturation if you go on facebook what they are preaching on facebook is that get dot get this account go to these people just to set up as a collection you cannot make six figures just by doing collection by partnering with all of this good lab yeah the labs are there for you but how can you make money having a lab you don't want to work for somebody that's the goal you want to be a boss you want to be a leader and how can you attain that how can you be successful in your drug testing business without just being a collector because you cannot live by collection you can as well just work for somebody else and not own a company your own a company is different from you know what you know so how can you do all of those things so definitely is by you know digging more deep and doing your research so that's the phase that i am right now and i'm willing to share for those that wants to learn you know i don't believe in if i want to make if i want to go let me just go for it i'm not i'm not collecting i don't want to I'm, I'm not trying to make ten thousand in a year or whatever i'm trying to make six figures how can i get to my six figures it's possible drug testing you can imagine we are we are an independent lab that's what we are set up to do just as quest quest and you we all we do the same thing but how can you move your business how can you get to that stage that's what you should that's how we should be thinking i want us to wear those thinking and then think in that aspect in that direction not just hustling of course you're gonna hustle but you know so so what do you currently do so you're not doing drug testing so why do you need lab court chanel Because I know that you did, um, you took my TPA course and you was asking some questions. I, I was under the impression that you already collected. You're a drug tester. You, am I wrong? I'm waiting for your response now. Oh, you did respond. What did you say? Okay. Okay, so you're trying to set up a toxicology account? then if that's the case i recommend you go through crl you don't need a lot of labs you only need one lab because at the end of the day you're paying them and crl has the most cheapest rate for example to run your five panel you um you're paying about 13 dollars but if you go through lab corp or quest you're paying 16 dollars. so if you are a business owner which one would you go for you know you just getting started. So yes, I'm telling you right now, go. Okay, so go through. I would say don't worry about LabCorp because this account is not free. It's not free. You're gonna have to what any spe they run your specimen for you. They run the specimen once you collect, you send it to the lab, and you have they send you bill like a, an invoice at the end of the month. So you wanna you wanna go cheap. You wanna go to the um you know the the cheapest route and crl has the cheapest rates lab corp i don't think they're accepting no um client for toxicology account all right except if you want to collect okay so you want to start as a collector first so are you trying to collect is that the account that you want to set up or you what account are you trying to set up there are different kinds of accounts yes so if you i so what kind of account are you trying to do are you trying to collect for them are you trying to set up a collection account or it, your own account an employer account because if they are running your specimen for you if you're sending them client so yes the collection sites so you're trying to collect for lab core yep i have a sales rep that can help you with that for collection 
now if you're trying to set up an account for your own personal account i don't recommend LabCorp. all right okay beautiful all right i'm gonna leave this video so y'all can watch and refer and reference um reference the video Thank you so much, Chanel, for your participation. I am always willing to help people that participate, that don't make me feel like they're users. That's my goal. We're here to help each other. And I got you, Chanel. I'm going to give you the rep. And before I even actually give you the name, I have to, you know, say something to her so she can help you right away. Right away. Because these people are like, <laughs> they have like block. You have to drill before you can get your way. It is hard because the market is saturated. So they are trying to like, you know, limits what because for quest for quest for an example you do have to you there is a wait list for quest to even collect for quest it's you can't it, there is no collections for quest because the wait list is forever yeah always appreciate you people 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 let me just keep trying i have a big mouth so yeah appreciate my guys thank you all so much for your participation for your belief support they all mean a lot to me um for now Bye. Bye, Chanel. Talk to you on the other side.